Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Matthew Lopez. I'm from San Diego, California, and I own Mama Lydia's. We're a pre-packaged salsa business with my grandmother's recipes, and I also work at the Lamplighter in Mission Hills as a karaoke host, and currently I am the top bowler in my bowling league right now. So at Mama Lydia's, we're a pre-packaged salsa company. We take my grandmother's recipes that she's perfected over the last 50 plus years and we put them in 16 ounce deli cups and then sell them to farmers markets, a couple retail clients and a couple restaurants. We do her original red recipe and then we do a hotter version of it that we call killer. It's got a really good heat to it and then we do a mild version that's basically just the flavor. We also do her verde and then we do our own chips as well. So we're going to the produce guys. The uh, small little Mexican family that gives me all my green onions, cilantro, jalapenos. And uh, we're here about two, three times a week picking up produce for them. They got really fresh, really good produce. And it's a small business which we like to support. This is them right here. Urban Fresh Produce. So we've had a lot of obstacles, a lot of hardships that we've had to overcome with Mama Lydia's. Um, any business starting out, we first off I started it with like little to no working capital. So the struggle of week to week having to have a certain amount of money to then meet the demands of the business for the following week is extremely stressful. Uh, we actually had setbacks with product. We had had a co-packer in the beginning that we paid a pretty price to have him pre-package the salsa for us where we had, didn't have to do anything but pick it up. And we had a couple runs that literally they went the salsa went bad in a matter of like two days, um, so we had a lot of loss there as well. You have other things that happen with the business as far as markets will be canceled due to weather. Uh, certain retail clients' product won't move as fast as it's supposed to. But in in more cases, we would have we had the biggest struggle with not having the capacity to meet the demand of which the product was wanting to get out there. So having to constantly have that carrot dangled in front of your face but not be able to bite it is extremely frustrating. Uh, when you're trying to actually grow and scale a business, but you don't have the working capital necessary to actually do that. All right, see you later, Robert. All right, now we're gonna head over to Restaurant Depot. It's literally right across the street. So we just hopped in the truck. We got all the produce, jalapeno, green onions, cilantro. Now we head over to Restaurant Depot because we're gonna grab some tomatoes and some spices. All right, guys, so we gotta grab some tomatoes for our delicious salsa. We use Isabella's Finest, premium choice tomatoes, best in town. <laughs> so we load these bad boys up. Every week I'm in here, cranking these bad boys, bringing them up here, making this delicious salsa for my fellow San Diego residents. I love them. I love to get all the salsa for them. We get every box in here. All right, so we got our tomatoes. Now we're gonna go grab some spices. Probably the most important part of the whole recipe. It's the secret ingredient, but you guys can't know what that is. What makes Mama Lydia so unique is pretty simple. It's my grandmother's actual handcrafted, authentic recipe that she's perfected over the last 50 plus years. Up until two, three years ago, you literally couldn't get this salsa unless you went to her house and had her make it for you personally herself. We also don't add any preservatives, it's all natural, and we batch it like three to four times a week, so you're guaranteed to get the freshest, healthiest salsa on the market. So the way Mama Lydia's came about is my grandmother was actually taking 17 quarts of salsa to work. I was in her kitchen one day, and I asked her how much she got for them. When she told me the number, the light bulb went off in my head and I knew that we could take her salsa and get it to more people than just the people that she worked with. So we started a little business, drew up a caricature of her, and then literally the rest is history. Our customers love our product because it's a one-of-a-kind taste and there's literally nothing fresher on the market. The business is actually pretty far along. We've been around for about three and a half years. In my opinion, proof of concept is done as far as if it will sell. Right now, the main problem is just scaling it. We need an investment in order to take it to the next level for manufacturing and distribution. So the 
Hard work, in my opinion, has been done as far as if it's a real viable business. We are. We can. We can sell. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. Yeah, so here we are. Where did you take your ticket? Oh, I don't think I like it. I know. I was trying so hard. Sorry, this is our loyalty card. So ask me by ten, eleven, ones on us. Okay. Somebody else. Cool. Oh, you're so awesome. One original. Each. So is the business making money? Yes, we are. We're making money for sure. We last year we did about sixty thousand dollars, and we're on pace this year to do right around a hundred thousand. You're in charge. There'll be ten out of ten. You have your loyalty card on you. Six. Let me get you a loyalty card, too. So our market at Mama Lydia's Salsa are guys that like to do tailgating, sporting events, or mothers that have families that like to entertain or throw parties, and then pretty much everyone else. Mm, that's the one. I think you were out of it two weeks ago. Oh, really? Probably. Can I get one original? Want to do an original? Yeah. Can I have a couple more bites? Yeah, sure. So I currently am not married, but I do have a beautiful girlfriend. Her name is Shannon. She's extremely supportive of me and helping me run this business and grow it. She's actually a business owner herself. She owns a screen printing company. Uh, she's really successful at it, but I get stuff like this all the time randomly, and she's really great like that. I also have a daughter. Her name is Bella Rose. She's five and a half years old. She just started kindergarten a couple weeks ago, and she's actually the whole reason why I do all of this. Uh, I'm really trying to show her that it's possible to take something from nothing and le really turn it into something great. And that sh let it be an example for her to see that you can literally take something, an idea, and turn it into something amazing for your life and be really happy and fulfilled in doing something like that. So why should you guys invest in me? In my mind, it's pretty simple. I'll never give up. I'm very passionate and ambitious and driven in what I'm doing right now. It means the absolute world to me to turn this into something from multiple angles. Um, I always struggled with following through and doing what I should have been doing growing up. Um, the last four or five years I've completely changed as a person as far as the way I go about doing things. Um, it's also from my family's perspective, I have to accomplish this for them. I want to take care of my grandmother, my daughter, my mother, my girlfriend, her family, my family, and I want to be able to do that comfortably. And I have that drive, that ambition. I'm a competitor, extremely competitive, and I'm, like I said, I'm not going to give up. So even if I make a mistake, even if there is a setback, even if the product doesn't sell in a certain way, doesn't do as well as we thought it was going to do, I'm going to continue to try it until it does. And I'm coachable and I'm willing to try anything to get the job done. And I think at the end of the day we have a winning product. It's proven. The proof of concept is done. The, the product sells. And now we just need to scale the business. And I think with the right partner, investor, that that's totally possible. That there's no limits with this product. Mama Lydia's salsa is the next best thing because there's nothing out there like it. Everyone else packs it with preservatives and the taste just isn't what you would expect it to be. Plus, it's really red gold on a chip. My ultimate goal with Mama Lydia's salsa is to have it in every refrigerator in the world. But more immediately is to be the number one sold salsa in San Diego within the next three to five years. So the amount of money that I'm looking to get from you guys is $100,000 for 20% equity in Mama Lydia's company. Something unique and interesting about myself is that I'm the ultimate competitor. There's literally nothing I don't turn into a competition, whether it be sports, playing cards, taking out the trash. If you're selling salsa, I'm selling more because at the end of the day, I'm in it to win it. Action. So what's so unique about Mama Lydia's salsa? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know. What is it? What is it? Is it is it because it's authentic? Is it handcrafted? All of the above? Okay. Hey, right, go. Action. Do Flip. Oh, okay. Why did you do that? Because you gotta you want it, Maddie. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, it's a competition, folks.
It's a competition show. Mama Lydia's is the next best thing because it's red gold on a chip. Red gold. <laughs> 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 we should just do red that, gold. dude. Let's just do that.